Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I love the fall and I love the spring. The reason why I love the spring is because one of my most favorite trees, apart from the ginkgo, is the weeping maple. Now it's spring here at my side of the world and I know that it's fall at your side of the world, but for a very small portion of time in the northern and the southern hemisphere, we see the same things. At the moment, my neighbour's beautiful maple is in full glorious bursts of ruby red. But when we were in the Northern Hemisphere a couple of years ago, before you, when you could still go somewhere, what I loved the very best were the maple trees and how they were all changing. So it got me thinking, what could I do that would be something I could keep for all year round? Because I've tried to bonsai and topiary these, and can I tell you, it just doesn't work. And they do exactly the same as what happens in nature. The leaves fall off and you're left with this brown, bare thing that does really nothing. But that's what nature does. She gives us things and then she takes them away and she gives us new things. So I thought, okay, I know what I'm going to do. A, four, a tree for the fall for you, a tree that I can have all year round, and from the base or this, this structure that I've started here, I can take it into Christmas and Thanksgiving and lots of other events. Really, really easy to put together. First and foremost, you will need some maple and I've got three pieces of maple here and I've got two pieces of twisty willow. And the reason I've got the willow is because I wanted to create more movement, which I've achieved here. Now, to begin, lots of pots that you could use, but I quite like the terracotta because it's sort of like those really lovely rustic sort of four colours. Now, what I've done here is, let me just show you, the first thing I did was I glued this, I got a saucer that matched the pot and I glued that to the base of my pot. So, and to do that, very easy. This is your best friend. This is called Liquid No Nails. It has taken years to find, but, and it's a Sally's product, the best product that could and would and wouldn't let me down glue, and this is it. And it's just a matter of turning your pot upside down. These are even better, because look, it's got that little gum that goes with it. You could use hot glue if you wanted to, but as I have discovered, the oops make sure that that's nice that's off there the thing that i've discovered about the glue gun and the glue sticks is it's not quite as good as it could be okay so then that just gets placed on top of there like that put it to one side and leave it alone the next is to create the support so what i have done here is i've got a plastic container you get, I'll just put that down there, plastic container. The next best friend is plaster of Paris. Mix that the consistent, the, to get the right pancake consistency, two parts of plaster of Paris, one part of warm water, stir it up, put it into your container, and then you need to get something like this. Now this is a plastic roll that's been lying around, um, and all I've done is, because it's cardboard, I've just used a little bit of more plastic to cover around that. If you didn't have um, just a cardboard roll, anything will do, it was just that these were lying around, and I thought, oh, I'll put those to good use, and they come into lots of use. Okay, so that just gets set into there, and you might need to put a couple of sticks on either side of that to keep it straight. Straight is also your best friend, because if this doesn't go straight, then you're gonna hate yourself, because it's gonna move, and then you're never gonna get it to work, and that will visually annoy you. Okay, so getting rid of that out of the road, get rid of this, I don't need that mushroom, so you can go over to there, because that's the third part of this. Okay. Now, you're probably thinking, uh, why has she not covered it? The reason I did not cover it was because I found that it was easier once it was in the plaster. The other thing with the plaster is it just gives it a little bit more stability. Tip number three, or is it four from me, is make sure that whatever you put the plaster in is actually going to go inside the cavity of whatever container you are using. Now, the next thing I discovered was, and you can buy this stuff here, which is called 
uh, I think it's a silver birch sheet um, bark. Now I've seen it at Amazon, it's on eBay, it's all over the place. If you don't have access to that, what you could do is just go outside to a tree and just have a little wee sort of like rustle around the base of your tree and to just find some bark. Now what I did with the sheets is I cut it up into little small pieces and I knew that I had forgotten one thing which I'm just going to go and get right now. One moment I'll be back. I forgot the glue gun. Wait. Okay, so this is very important that you have your glue gun and as I said all I really did was just put little bits of glue onto there and starting at the top I just place those across there. Now the other reason why I use the plastic is the great thing is is this the plastic kind of fuses into the wood bark with the heat and it makes it stick. So it's just a matter of going around and around as I, I've just used little bits here because that was all I needed and then you just keep layering those up until you achieve this look here. Now the other little thing I need to share with you is nothing in nature is perfect so don't try and make this neat and clean and tidy because it's not actually that necessary. So just keep going until you have finished covering the whole thing and just work quietly in little portions because that you need to make sure that it is actually fused and stuck onto it. Now from there let me get rid of this. Oh, I just love this idea. Get rid of all of this here because we don't need it. Now to get this into here I'll demonstrate with this so to get the next thing I did was before I even put it into the pot was I just got my willow and this just will stick into there and then it's just a matter of getting into here and then just bending and manipulating now for this one over here I use five pieces so, and also when a willow is, uh, not a willow, when a maple is growing it actually bends down and all of these little bits here, the little side tendrils will all move so that you can get them to just lie down and be where you want them to be. Then with this here, and I kept these bits quite long, take those out and then bend those down. And then what I did with these bits that hung down here, I just pulled some leaves off here because it's all quite a bit, see how chunky and hunky it is into there? Pull some of those off and the, then what I did was I just glued some of those down onto those the branches of the willow uh, to not the willow yes the willow to just bring them down to the sides now into there so that so you're making sure don't forget let me just go over that again don't make sure that that does fit neatly into there so from there the next thing is to get some moss or you could use some soil or some potting mix or some wood bark just get this and just push that down and into there like so. It's quite messy this stuff but never mind. And then with this I've got some darker stuff here. Now if you can't find this just go outside into the garden or around trees and just pull it off the trees and in this side of the hemisphere it grows on the south side but in the northern hemisphere it's on the north side of the trees and just pick some of that off. I also because I wanted to celebrate fall, goodness me can you see me in here? I'm having a terrible trouble, I've got too much stuff everywhere, that with this I just thought that that could just sit down the side there and then I've got these lovely little mush these pumpkins. Now I love getting a pumpkin See, these were just some plastic pumpkins I had and I painted those white. And the reason I've done that is because I wanted the white to be reflected back through into the, into the branch of our tree. And look at that. They can just sit up and into there or maybe they can just sit there. Whatever you want to do with it, it's going to fall off but never mind. Hopefully I can, I'll just hold it there for now. So there we have a quick and easy tree that can be used for the fall, for Thanksgiving and I'll come back and I'll show you how to make this more Christmas. Hope you've enjoyed this, I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you again another day.